Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and you join me once again here at Ajaxima, an airport that I am constructing through the means of Airport CEO here in Birmingham. Well, I claim it's Birmingham here in the UK, obviously, of course. I mean, there is a Birmingham in Alabama. I know that. I do actually have relatives, slightly distant relatives now, who live out that part of the US of A. But no, we are, of course, here in the UK. Now, you may recall at the end of the last episode, we managed to complete the research for medium aircraft, which means I can now buy some really nice, substantially larger and more expensive things, like a big runway, like a medium stand. All of this does require that I do need to actually put in a lot more infrastructure as well, like more taxiway and stuff. Now the next part of this, I have, to be honest with you, heads up, I have played ahead a little bit to see what is going on, see if I can make sense of uh, what I need to do. I do wish this wouldn't scroll quite so quickly. Um, but I, I, is there a setting in the settings that allows me to stop it doing that so quickly? I don't know. Anyway, what I was about to say was I played ahead a bit and I've kind of come to a decision. We have a number of things, objectives to do as part of the tutorial, which is kind of what we're following in this series uh, of Airport CEO. Uh, we've got to go a stair truck, pr procurement director, uh, enable the Jet A1 fuel stuff, purchase trucks and all the rest of that. And I was thinking to myself, I'm not going to do that just yet because we've still got a quite a lot of construction to do. We've got all this taxiway to build here, and that's only half of it. I do actually need to build it out here as well. So that end of the airport, uh, that end of the runway is connected. And I will need to expand my terminal building here as well. So what I'm going to do is we will hide that. We'll take it down to, to uh, the detailed instructions, which I quite like to see, point by point. Uh, so let's uh, plan that out using the planning building tool planning okay and we are going to be planning a terminal enhancement a foundation I hope this is in planning mode which will go from there to we won't spend too much money just yet we'll make it a bit wider than the terminal gate the stand I think so yeah but so we've got room to maneuver in there basically is what I'm thinking and we'll make it yeah, as deep as that. That's okay. That's in planning mode. That is cool. We need some more taxiway foundation, which is that. Uh, now, how wide am I going to make this? I've made it, I think. That is four wide, isn't it? There, I need to select it. Oh, there we go. Did I select that? Click it. Right, now it's selected. Right, so if I make that... Yes, four wide. That seems to be sufficient, I think. Uh, so we'll make it that wide, and you will need to go. The trouble, again, with this game, one of the issues I have with it is you can't prioritise certain building projects. As far as I'm aware, if you know different, of course, do let me know in the comments below. Which means that I can get all this planned, I can actually turn it all into a construction uh, project for my guys to get on with. Actually, talking of which... Uh, let's go in here. I want to get more constructors on site, which is operations, construction. Because I did dismiss quite a lot of them to save me money, but I do want this stuff built. So we'll increase. We'll put another 20 on, I think. There we go. We'll deploy you. That is cool. Yeah, so there's no point having the extra terminal building built or adding in all the extra stuff. To, uh, to the to the terminal unless sort of the prerequisites are built like the taxiway and in airport CEO unlike sim airport I don't think you can prioritize building in that way and I haven't worked out yet again if you know different do let me know I haven't worked out yet which job the construction teams will go to first so yeah I'm, I'm just confused now that did pop up a notification there which is why I stopped the, yes, our latest research project has completed, the Maverick Trucks. Now, the Maverick Trucks are here under vehicles. Uh, you can go away. Uh, where we can purchase. There we go. So these are the ones we can order now, the Maverick Fuel Trucks. We currently have a, a Fjord, 
for the Avgas and the Jet A1, they are slower and ineffective. <laughs> well, they must be at least vaguely effective, otherwise they wouldn't do anything at all. Silly, silly. But the Mavericks are that much faster and that much more expensive. They're £25 an hour more. Do I need them just yet? I might once I get my new stand in operation and we get larger aircraft in. But I think we'll stick with the Fjord for the moment. Oh, the one thing I did do uh, after the end of the last episode when I realised I'd missed something out was uh, we need to go back here to actually to operations is enable the Jet A1 fuel service. Which means Jet A1 fuel isn't just for the big heavy planes, it's also available to these smaller commercial flights as well. I think it applies to any commercial flight. You can fuel up with the Jet A1 stuff. Now the other thing, again which one of the, the tricky things with this game for me is keeping abreast, keeping ahead of all the things you need to do. And there's always little bits in every operation to be aware of. Uh, should we build this taxiway now? I think we might as well, actually. Then I'll get on to, to complete the sentence I just started. Uh, build the planning object. So we'll build all this. Okay, they'll start building that. Then I'll build the terminal from there. So yeah, get the can, the taxiway built first, get that ready. Uh, yeah, one of the, the tricky things to keep ahead of is the flights here. They don't last forever. Whereas in Sim Airport, if you arranged a, a contract for a flight to come in every Tuesday, every day at this time, it would. In Airport CEO, they only last for a number of days. So you have to keep coming back here. Again, there might be a way of auto planning this to get new flights in to fill in the gaps. I don't know. So where are we? We're currently on Monday, Monday morning. There we go. So Tuesday. Okay, so we've got off a gap here for the Goose Swing. That's our latest company we've got a contract with. Uh, but they've we've got a flight in there which is probably going to get in the way. So what I might do actually, yeah, if I move, can I move this uh, move that flight to later in the day. No, because that will clash with that one. Okay, well, a Goosewing... Oh, Goosewing are offering me a few flights here. Uh, I think... Do we have... Where do we have space for Goosewing? We could do early morning, Saturday and Sunday next. So that's two. You're, only, you're not going to give me many... Ah, you give me... Yeah, nine or four people. Okay, we'll slip you in there. That's good. And back to Forest on stand number one. Again, we're fairly busy here. But we have got a... Oh, we've got, they, they want five. Well, I'm not sure I can put five flights in. Unless uh, can we reschedule that one? Okay, if we click on that, I can reschedule that and drag that one to say there. Okay. So can I put this flight in here? No. Can I put it in? Oh, I can put that. Is that one longer? That's a three hour turnaround. Oops. Um, and that one is a four hour turn. Oh, they have different. Oh my god, that's a, that's a huge number of people. Oh, right. Okay, pause. Let me think. Can I get. That is a large number of people. And we do get paid per pass. We do get a, a fee for passengers as well, I think. So that. Ah, right. Can I slip you in here? I can. I think put you in from front. Can I put you in here? It says no. If I sh reschedule this one, move you right out to overnight. Okay, if I do that, can I put... No, you're, the, you're the small one. I want the big one. I can't allocate flight to this stand. Why not? Oh, are you a medium? 
aircraft. Does it tell me this anywhere? You're a BAE-146. You are, you're probably a medium aircraft. Right. Okay. And I don't have a stand which will take you yet. I really do wish it would tell me. Yeah, it says you can't allocate it to this stand. But it doesn't. Aircraft size. That indicates. Okay, if you knew what these icons meant, it would tell you, I think. But I don't recognise those icons. It'd be nice if it actually said medium or something in there as well. So you knew. Okay, we'll, we'll put the, the smaller one in there. Okay, which is fine. That's 12 people. I'm good with that. Okay, and finally, on our second stand, let's keep the game running. So we're getting... Uh, so this is... Tri is it Trident? Trinity. Trinity, that's who we are. Do have some early morning slots, yeah. From tomorrow. Yeah, can we put you in? We can put you in very early. That is very early. But they don't mind. <laughs> They're happy with that. Okay, so that's taken care of. Oh, they nearly finished building the, the taxiway. Okay. Shall I start them building the, the, the terminal extension? I might as well, actually, then. And we'll see if they start building that beforehand. Okay, the other thing to keep notice of, at the moment I don't have anyone taking care of maintenance automatically, so I do need to keep an eye on my stands and my runways to make sure they're not falling apart. As it says here, I need a Chief Operations Officer, a COO, to manage automated or automate the the repair of the stands. Now, actually, there's the, the fuel truck, the A1. Yeah, he's coming in, he's gonna service that plane. Now that I've got that service enabled, all these stands are in good order. What about this runway? 60, um, we'll repair you, keep you in perfectly good working order. Okay, that's fine. So I don't have to worry about it too soon. They've started building the terminal extension already and they've not... Mm, I don't know, I don't know. You see the little men running around carrying boxes or not? Are they carrying boxes? Why are they carrying boxes from that direction? Did they take them all the way up there and then bring them back down here? Or did they go up there and then think, oh, this job is nearer. We'll do that one first, which is a ludicrous way of doing business. Really is. Honestly. Okay. Oh, we need more research. I can't, oh, do, do that, do that. Right, We've done that. So what else can we research here? Um, we need... I need... Oh, I need a strategy director. I need someone else before I can do the shops and stuff. Uh, I think Project Group 2. That'll be fairly quick. Uh, I don't know if I'll make use of it. I'm not quite sure what it... If I hover over it, it tells me. Then I can tell you, if, if you're not aware of it. It opens Program Group 2 and Proactive Maintenance. Aha! Yes. So we'll do that then. We'll start that project. That's good. And I'll put... Three people. Do I need more? I probably do, actually. Yeah. Let's get some more admins in. Do I have enough here? I've got a couple of spare desks. Okay, let's employ some more administrators. Um, ooh, did I, they're, they're wages changing while I'm looking at this uh, page. You're quite cost-effective. You're very cost-effective. Oh, you're the ones I employ. <laughs> I want to look at the applicants. Don't. Right, uh, so who have we got here? Ooh, these guys are starting to get expensive. Who am I? Oh, I need a filter. I was looking at executive pay rates then. Don't want to do that, not just yet. Yeah, these guys are starting to get expensive. We can train them, though. 
So if I hire you, you're quite expensive. I'll hire you, though you're less expensive and less skilled. And I can then train you for 528. Actually, if I, hire, if I train you... Yeah, we'll train you. Okay. Which means then, on the research, I can put a couple more people. Excellent. I'm still going to keep the people doing... Uh, the pro Project Group 2 is this column here. So I imagine that means we could have two research teams working at the same time and get, to get our research effort uh, doubled up in some sense, possibly. Who knows? Apparently not me. Yes, I'll keep my salary cost reduction here fully staffed as we are employing more staff, so keeping them keeping the cost down there is good. This is nearly done, so let's put in part of our taxiway path. We're going to go from here to there, and then we'll come along here. I know you're not central, but I don't care. And there, and then we'll run you all the way along here. And once that bit's done, we'll do that. Uh, we don't need that wall in there. Oh, let's take the wall out. Like so. And I probably ought to make that a secure area as well, shouldn't I? Uh, secure zone. Uh, let's wait till they take the wall out, just in case that makes a difference. <laughs> Okay, I think we could start now actually progressing this and getting our new uh, equipment and stuff. So we're looking for vehicles. We're looking to purchase a stair truck, which is used to get people off the stand into the aircraft. Apparently you need to go up into these steps. They're quite high, these medium aircraft. So we'll get one of those. You're ordered. What's the next thing I want to do here? One stair truck, a procurement director. Okay, so what do you do then? Uh, procurement director, you're, let's get rid of the, over, oh, get rid of the overlay there. Uh, procurement director reduces vehicle purchasing cost when present. Was that all? Oh, perhaps I should have employed him before I got that truck. Now they tell me. Applicants. Uh, executive types, a procurement director. Oh, you're not that much more expensive than the administrators we've been hiring so far. You can't filter them by particular roles here, which is a little frustrating because it would be nice to just focus on whether you want a CIO or a HR or a strategy director or whatever. Uh, so you rather than try to appear at the screen like I'm doing right now. So you appear to be the most cost effective. In other words, cheapest procurement director. Actually, they're all in alphabetical order. So I suppose that helps. Yeah, that does help a bit. Okay, I'll let them off a little bit on that. So there we are. There's our procurement director. We've got you. Uh, we need to purchase a pushback truck. Ooh. Right, that's all nearly finished. Uh, so that was vehicles again, wasn't it? Where are the vehicles? There they are. And we want to purchase a pushback. There you go, we'll order one of you. If a new product has arrived, that'd be my new stair truck. Oh, he's obviously in the hangar already. What do we want to do here? Let's make that a secure zone. Because it is. We are going to need a boarding desk for this stand. Uh, boarding desks, we'll get a medium one because we should have more people on here. Going into these larger planes, we'll put you... Yeah, there, that'll do nicely. Okay. We'll get rid of that. Have you not finished building that taxiway yet? Oh, for goodness sakes. And uh, we'll probably want some oh, some more flooring. Or oh, new product. Let's watch our new truck arrive. Wait, why is there a plant in the middle of my road? 
There he is. We can follow him along. Turn the UI off. There he is. Look at that. A Jackson Airport branding and everything. Again, I said this in the last episode, and I've probably said it several times before, and I dare say I'll say it again. I just really like the level of sort of customer, the level of personalization that, what did you do that for? That your assets get in, get in here as well. Uh, I could actually probably even change their colors. I could have a corporate scheme, couldn't I? Where are my vehicles? They're all here, aren't they? Big, 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 stop. There they go, gotcha. Can I change the color of these? I can, I can set their colors. I'm not going to do that though, otherwise I'll spend all day just tinkering until I get the exact perfect shade of whatever colour I wanted in there. Okay, I was going to put in some flooring in here. Where's the flooring? Are you flooring? Your floor. You're probably that colour. So we'll put you in there. We want some more seating. We've got a copy and paste thing in building tools here. Again, a nice feature. We'll copy... That I think well, we don't want the desk as well. We just want the <laughs> just want the seating. Uh, copy and paste uh, from there to there, and we'll spin this round. I think so. It's in that orientation. I'll work out later if I want any more. We could probably actually copy the uh, vending machines as well. I think yeah. They'll want some over here, I reckon. Is that boarding desk ready yet? Do I need to put any more flights? And I won't worry about flights just yet. Finish the runway. That's not the runway, it's a taxiway. Actually, I can probably finish that path, can't I now? Because the centre of the taxiway foundation has been completed. You go there, I think, and down there. Right, that's all connected. Okay, uh, we haven't got a boarding desk yet. Oh, we will have. I need to activate it. Uh, there you are. Uh, clicking is a little bit odd, the clicking there. You need to be quite precise sometimes. We'll connect you to that. And then we need to just check actually this stand is commercial only, isn't it? Uh, just, how do you tell? <laughs> all flights, all out, all airlines. Uh, commercial, yes, that's right. So we need to open our runway. Ta da! And everything's working! Excellent. So we should now. Oh, we want to, we're going into shops and cafes, are we? So, no, we don't want to do that just yet. We'll do that in a moment. We need to sign a new contract to get flights to come in to our super duper new medium stand. Uh, contracts, you're out here. This is going to be offered contracts for airlines. Uh, okay, we have 10 negotiating points. Not quite sure how that all builds up. Auto negotiation. Mm, okay. I need a CFO to do that. I don't have one of those yet. Okay, well, I'm not sure what that'll do. It might be useful, it might not. Who knows? I've uh, got 10 negotiation points. Uh, we've handled 25 flights per day, so we're getting two for that. We've got an airport rating above 50%, so we've got four points for that. And we have an open airport, so we get four for that. Good. I'm not sure if 10 is a good number or not, but we're able to sign contracts up to four stars, which I imagine is a quality thing. So let's have a look at our most quality airlines here. Zoom. That's a very dull logo. What about Crown Airlines? All right, so you are going to give me those types of flight there. Actually, uh, my existing contracts Someone was offering, oh, you do offer medium as well. So you offer medium to goose wings. You offer some medium as well. Um, forest. Yeah, that's the, right. So we could simply, because the actual, yeah, the actual prices of all these things are the same, aren't they? 
all the fees. It's all 6,000 per flight. Uh, and even for the newer airlines, which only offered medium and large, yeah, like Stripe here, yeah, they're all 6,000. I'm not seeing any difference here in the contract conditions. As long as I just supply and successfully execute uh, flight slots, they should be happy. Okay, well, let's see if we can fill this stand from our existing contracts. Uh, oh, we got. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, that's the airline satisfaction. Uh, that, uh, uh, offered flights, none. Ooh, Goosewing are offering me quite a few. They're all small by the look of it, I think. Assuming that's a small symbol. Trinity, they're all small. Oh, Forest not going to give me a big flight. Oh, you botherers. Oh, here are the icons. Ah. Okay. So if I go here and say I don't want any small flights. Do I need to open up another contract? Which will give me medium flights. We'll give them a day or so, I think, to come round, and then we'll do that. In the meantime, we'll progress with this. Shops and stuff. We hire a, We need a strat... Why do I want a strategy director? Because I can't open shops without someone in charge of strategy. Okay, strategy director. We want to hire somebody. No, that's shifts. We're not doing shifts. No, nope, that's the button. <laughs> Executive. Strategy director. Um, you're expensive. We'll hire Mary Parker. Can you train executives? I wonder. Executives. Well, you can. They're quite expensive to train. Relative, relatively speaking. It doesn't increase a, a salary by much, though, so that's cool. Oh, and we want to open up the franchise shop research. How are we doing on research? We've nearly got that one done. I, can I hire a new administrator? Do I have a desk for them to sit at? I don't know. Let's have a look. Not really. Actually, looking at this layout here, I might want to make this room bigger because it is a little bit full. Uh, there's the staff room. As we've seen before, you can't extend an existing room, which is annoying. And the only way I can do that is to delete the existing room. So if I press control, I can demolish that staff room and then quickly build a new one before they all realize it's now non-existent. Should we make it a bit, make it that big? All that will make it that big. I th think. All bigger still. I want to get another desk here. No, no, we're going to make it bigger still. I think. Uh, include the bin. I think that's okay. I think that's bigger. <laughs> Sometimes I've no idea what I'm doing. Um, now, which way round does this need to go? It was round the right way to start with, I think. No, it wasn't. Yep, that's the way you need to be. Like that. Another two desks in there. Oh, two in there as well. Okay, and I also, I think, need to define who can come into this staff room. We don't want contractors coming in here. Sorry, chaps. We will let everybody else. Oh, now they're all lost and confused. Because the room disappeared twice. <laughs> okay, confusion. They're settled. That's fine. How are we doing in our funds? Daily? Look, we are basically profitable on a daily basis. It's just the fact that I keep building stuff that is what's costing us the money. Uh, what's that? Uh, new pro oh, those are the new aircraft, new uh, vehicles and stuff. Do you know what? I am going to sign a new contract. I don't care what anybody else says. We're going to get it. I need those 
that new stand to be employed. I'd like a variety of medium aircraft though. Uh, stripe, you get. Oh, you give me quite a few. Uh, oh, you only a three star though. Okay, I don't want okay. That I, mean, I don't like that that logo. Skyfly, Skylink, Atom Air, Allure. Actually, I was looking at Crown, wasn't I? You give me three. Ooh, lots of Boeings. Or should I stay with Airbus? Let's go with Crown Airlines. We'll sign you. Job done. Okay. Do we yet have any... F oh, we do. We do. Uh, we are here. So, let's have a look. Uh, oh, we've only got the one contract for three flights from Crown. I could stick you. That's tomorrow now, isn't it? Yeah, we're coming to early evening on Monday. I'll slip you in there then. 71 people arriving, 42 departing. That could be quite profitable. Okay, what I'll do is I will um, fast forward a little bit till tomorrow so we can see that new those new planes coming in. And uh, we'll finish the episode with that. In the meantime, I'll just check on the maintenance level and get any research done that needs to be completed for the next stage of development of a Jaxima Airport. I'll be back with you on the other side of this sexy video effect. And it's now Tuesday. Very early morning on Tuesday. And we do have some flights scheduled for today, including our first large flight. I've renamed my stand slightly, so commercial, medium, and small stands, one through to three, so they're in a slightly different order. But we're getting our first medium flight coming in from Forest Air, first thing this morning. As you can see, people are building up here. I'm um, getting no problem. Ooh, janitors, there was a problem there. No, that's okay, they're okay, that's fine. They're not worried, we've got enough just about to cope. Now, I have put in an extra toilet in here because Apparently people in airports do need to go to the toilet occasionally and that's quite a walk all the way over there from our new medium stand. So having planned that out, let's build this thing or get the guys to build it. I have laid a number of them, well I haven't laid them off, I've sent them home on half pay or something. So our construction team is now back down to 30, which is previously 50 over the last few days. Oh and there as you can see is our Jet A fuel truck loading up or fueling up our little airplane here which is a 190 OD something like that oh, refueling in progress I like that you, you get a complete breakdown of where you're at what's going on we have completed the project 2 research which is what we we're doing before the last sexy video effect so I can sort of open up this column here to do more research if I wanted to uh, well, no, bring that back. We'll, we won't employ too many staff for the moment until we get a few more flights coming in and get more income through the through the terminal. But we've started researching our franchise shops and we're nearly halfway through that. That takes 24 hours in all, I think it was scheduled to take. So that should be done tomorrow. So our next episode will include shopping. Oh yes! But we should shortly see. Where's our schedule for today? Uh, coming in, I think, uh, which one is it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know which. 917, I think you're the medium flight, aren't you? Does it tell me what gate it's going to? It doesn't. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, it says medium desk, but yeah, because the small desks I don't think can handle medium gates. So... Uh, no, so that's that one. It's coming in very soon. Let's get the game rolling along a bit. Oh, here he is! Here he is! Our very first. And here's a BAE 146. Let's get rid of the UI. So we can enjoy the model. In all its loveliness. All the lights. Cabin lights are on. 
you, know, you can't you can't adjust your view when you're in follow mode. <laughs> you are stuck above the thing, and that's it. Our very first media flight from Forest, actually. Yes, I think uh, you missed that bit. They did a they did offer me one extra medium flight, which they were refusing to do while you were watching me. <laughs> but it is here now. So let's get the UI back, and we should start seeing. Oh, there's our stair truck. Yep. Yeah. He's come in, so passengers can uh, disembark. And all these people here are waiting to board. My staff, ramp agents, we've just about got enough, that's okay. And here they come! Isn't that lovely? Uh, do you want fueling? You will want fueling. You'll probably wait for all the passengers to get off though before the fuel truck. Actually, I'm just wondering, do I want a second fuel truck? Oh, here he comes. Oh, he is slow, isn't he? <laughs> I see people do want to go to the toilet. Look. Oh, that's, that's a ramp agent. Yes, you do. Uh, click, click, there you go. Here he is, fueling up. The stair truck, of course, will stay there until all the people start boarding. Uh, we're a bit... No, we're not understaffed. Obviously we haven't started boarding yet. Maybe they don't start boarding until he's fueled up. Okay, if you're an expert at uh, air airports and know how these operations work, then yeah, do, please do let me know if, how accurate or inaccurate this and or I am being. So, do they wait for all the fuel to be loaded and all that? Do they wait for the fuel to come on until after everyone's offloaded? And do they wait until it's uh, been fully refueled before they let people board? Does it differ per airline? Who knows? If you do, do please do let me know in the comments below. Okay, we're going to start boarding anytime soon. When, when, does it tell me when they'll start boarding? Not started. Ah. Okay. Oh, are these are these transfer passengers? I don't know where they've all come from. They just all been to the toilet. <laughs> they all just rushed across. Oh no, no, they might have come up. Yeah, there's the, the gates there. That's fine. So you're here. All for our Crown Airlines flight. You're checking in already. Oh, there's a pushback. Passengers boarding. Excellent. This is looking so cool. And the stairs are gone. And here goes Mr. Pushback. It's those little details which I think really appeal to gamers, players who have a better understanding of the actual mechanics of running an airport. Which uh, Sim Airport, of course, hugely simple. Well, didn't hu yes, it was hugely simplified and made it, as it sort of gamified it that bit more than airport CEO does. It's a matter of what you prefer, I think. And there you are, that's our first medium flight gone. As we await our next flight to come in from Crown Airlines. And I will say thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you've enjoyed this, air, this uh, episode of Airport CEO. If you have, it'll be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. How are we doing in profit terms? We've made money so far today. That's good. Um, if yeah, if you've enjoyed this, it'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Just click on the old thumbs up. You know how that works. Even better though, if you've got any thoughts about the game, how my airport is developing, how many mistakes I've been making, what I've got wrong, what I might have got right. What do you think? Anything you think about what we're doing here today, please do let me know. Just drop a note into the comments box below. It would be awesome to hear from you and of course if you've not already subscribed to, if you've not already subscribed to the channel you could do that now and that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series but from me Ajax Post here in Airport CEO until the next time bye bye for now